Barry Strahl, and I'm the uh, president of the Brandon Hills Model Railroad Club. Tony DeVlieger, I'm the treasurer of the Brandon Hills Model Railroad Club. When I was a, uh, a young boy, um, my father had uh, given me a Lionel train set for Christmas and uh, it was just a simple uh, oval and uh, steam engine and a couple of cars, but that got me hooked. I guess since my childhood I've always had an interest in trains. I got a train set probably back in 1960, 64, somewhere in there, a Lionel train set. And I've always had an interest in trains and that's how I got started in auto railroading. I heard somebody talking about it. Uh... That's so long ago now, I'm uh, trying to remember just how I first heard about the Brandon Hill Club. But I'd been a member in, in uh, Winnipeg before that. And uh, it was probably through that that I knew uh, of a couple of people here in Brandon that were part of the club. And so I found out through them. I think at one time we walked around the Winter Fair and they had the layout, layout set up at the Winter Fair. And then they used to be in the old Doig's building on 10th Street. And I used to walk by, by there every now and then. And one Saturday, I just went in and started talking to the guys and went back a couple of more times. And I guess I joined the club around that time. That would be early 90s, I'm thinking. Well, you can learn new things from them. Uh, I, you learn how to build scenery and uh, you learn how to operate, operate your trains. Sometimes there's new stuff coming out, like a digital command, so you can discuss the new things around that, and electric, electronics involved. Quite a wide uh, variety of people with different talents. Uh, some are very good at, at scenery, some are very good at electronics or uh, wiring, um, some are very good at track planning. There's all kinds of aspects to it, and everybody contributes what they can with their specialties. I think if you set up part of it and start running trains, then what happens is everybody just runs trains and nobody does any work, yeah. right? <laughs> no, that's what I I guess the future of model railroading is uh, more electronics are coming along all the time. To, so you've got sounds and uh, horns and bells and whistles. I think the big thing that model railroading is looking for in the future is if you could get a good so a little battery that you could put in a locomotive and it would run your trains for about two or three hours and then you'd have to recharge it. If you could do that, then you could get rid of all the wiring that's involved and all that kind of stuff. That would be the next big game saver. Get something running operational first and get it operating smoothly. And one of the best pieces of advice I could give you is just to find your local model railroad club Go and talk to some guys, you know, and you can decide what scale it is you want to get into and, and go from there.